Hi there. Happy Wednesday. Alwyn Jennings here from alwynjennings.com, uh, channel coach and healer. I hope that you are all well. I thought I would just come on here to make a plea. My plea is to all women that are doing too much. Can you please stop? stop right now and start to really look after yourselves because I am seeing so many female clients who God bless their souls are at breaking point and quite frankly that's because they have spent years doing what they thought was the right thing in looking after everybody else's needs, pleasing, you know, pleasing family, pleasing um, friends, often saying yes to things and they really meant no, overthinking situations about, you know, whether saying something or doing something would make somebody else unhappy, really overthinking everything and turning themselves inside out and back to front. <laughs> um, you know, it, it, yes, it's difficult sometimes, especially in relationships, you know, we lose our way a bit and we want to please our partners and please our children really we want them to be happy and that's all great but we mustn't do it at our own expense it's time to wake up and look after ourselves because if we don't we won't be able to look after anybody else it's not selfish it's not indulgent it's absolutely necessary um, you can't pour from an empty cup. You've heard that before. Um, now, what's the reason behind these women being at breaking point? A lot of it is to do with the fact that society has conditioned them to believe that they have to serve everybody else first and look after everybody else first. And oh yes, and by the way, they all you know they want to have it all as well, which again is fine as long as you are really looking within and really looking after yourself because you can't have it all if you are falling apart it's just not possible so you know only over the last week i had um, a couple of clients who you know they've been in tears not really understanding why they don't feel right, why things are out of sorts, why they feel like they don't fit in anymore, or perhaps they've always felt like they don't really fit in. And one one client in particular was, you know, she just felt that she'd tried her best for everybody else and has always done that throughout her life, single mom has been very capable, is very capable, professional lady, beautiful soul, beautiful heart. But at the end of the day, she's almost been putting on this act of feeling great, of pretending she's coping with everything. And therefore, she hasn't really been getting anything back from other people because they have thought, oh, she's fine. She doesn't really need looking after. Um, she's very capable and too frightened to ask. She's been too frightened to ask for help because she believes that's a sign of weakness. And that, you know, has come from all sorts of conditioning, a lot to do with childhood. It can also be ancestral. It can be family things we're carrying, you know. Um, and... <sighs> At the end of all that, what that means is that she doesn't have any love for herself. She feels she's not worthy. She feels she's not worthy of love from her friends or from any potential 
partners and that is so sad and she has forgotten who she is she's forgotten what she's capable of she's forgotten that she's capable of having a joyful happy life if she starts with herself first and if she heals the stories that she's been told all her life by her parents, friends, family, society, that actually they are just stories as to how she should behave, how we should behave. It's got nothing to do with anybody else. It really hasn't. Hi, Catherine. Kath, I'm on a bit of a rant here. Just talking about how... A lot of women that I'm coming across seem to be a breaking point at the moment. And I think it's because a lot of them are waking up to the fact that, you know, they deserve to be, be happy too. And then another client who couldn't understand why her body was basically breaking down, constantly ill. And when I suggested it could have been stress, the you know things that happened to her she would say she said to me yeah but um it's not that bad at the moment the stress isn't that bad well maybe not but there was a hell of a lot of stress she'd had leading up to her coming to see me and isn't it true that once we stop being stressed and running on this adrenaline and we start to relax that's when we start to feel ill physically and our, you know what our bodies hold on to stress for a very 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 long time i know from my own um <laughs> we do deserve to be happy cat um you know i know from my own health you know recently i was told um that my cortisol levels are really high and you know my blood pressure was high and i was like well you know things are quite good at the moment what's that all about but actually it's a long time um a, a lot of time spent worrying um things happening in my life you know things do happen in our lives we can't we can't prevent that but it's whether we really take care of ourselves after the event do we take time? For example, do we take time to grieve when we lose somebody in our lives? No, we don't. We might grieve a little bit, but then we just get on with get on with things, don't we? Because we think we should. Um, and sometimes we really feel like we don't want to do something, but we do it because we think we should. Well, who says we have to? Who says we have to? We really have to start now. Now I want you all <laughs> to start. Really think about whether doing something is for you and whether it makes your heart sing doing it. I mean, there will always be times when we do something that we don't particularly want to do to, to make somebody happy or, you know, there might be a family situation. But that's and again that's fine but not if we're compromising our own happiness all of the time and you know it everything's changing now the the way the universe is demanding of us that we we do look after ourselves that we look within that we do the work to remove the blocks of what is you know stopping us from moving forward you know it could be things that's happened in our childhood that we've forgotten about we didn't even realize it was such a big issue but actually we've been holding on to something for so long a belief for so long that really no longer serves us and we need to heal that and it is all possible because it's all energy and energy can be healed sometimes we're holding on to beliefs that our mothers carried or our grandmothers carried or our grand or our fathers or our grandfathers it's it, it's endless i know <laughs> but it is all possible to resolve um so going back to the universe um you know the way the way we are being propelled forward now is we're being made to look at what's right and what's wrong in our lives because it's necessary the universe wants everybody to be coming from a place of having inner peace and feeling happy like truly happy and you know if there are things in our lives that make us less than truly happy 
they're going to be revealed to us to be dealt with and that might be a current situation it might be something that's been going on within you for a long time but it needs to be dealt it needs to be looked at it needs to be healed hi joe how few you've had lots of stress i hope you're feeling all right i know you know you get through it. it's brilliant brilliant that you've got through it but quite often you know it might be now that you start to feel um you start to feel it really you know in your body in your mind just feeling low you know if there's anything i can do to help let me know hi yvonne thanks for joining up joining me i've just been having a bit of a rant about how women seem to be putting themselves last and have done for a very long time and whilst i understand that there are times we have to well we don't have to do that but there are times that perhaps call for that more um it's 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 not good if it means that we're not doing anything for ourselves and we are forgetting that we have a life you know we've got a life to live we we, we came here with a soul plan we came here with a mission and again the universe is demanding that we remember what that mission is and you know a lot of us went off track it's time to get back on and the more healing we do of ourselves we're actually the, the great thing is we're healing future generations by dealing with our crap <laughs> we are dealing it for the dealing with it for the future nobody's going to take it forward with them which is exactly what we need to do um so of course i drew a card because i wanted to draw a card to see if what i wanted to talk about today was right and I was looking at the um, deck, um, which is called The Divine Feminine by um, Megan Watterson, or Watterson, I'm not quite sure how you pronounce it. Anyway, the card that I got was Freya, and she is the goddess of discernment. And at the bottom of the card, it says, I spend my time wisely. I only say yes when it's a holy hell yes, <laughs> which I think is amazing. So Freya is basically saying a lot of, um, is basically agreeing with me, which I think is right, yeah? So um, she's saying that dis discernment refers to spiritual power that allows you to distinguish between the spirits that cause harm and the spirits that will assist you. So that's on a spiritual level, but also on a practical level. It enables us to discern when a phone call or an email or a visit from a friend is going to add to our day or if it's going to derail it. <laughs> um, discernment is the difference between feeling led by the day, pulled this way and that, and claiming it. So, you know, I know sometimes my days run away from me and I have forgotten what it was I was trying to do and I then feel a bit frustrated that I wasn't able to do it, what I wanted to do in that day. Um, she says in, in, in this card, the message is, our time in this lifetime at least is limited. Every second is significant. Freya reminds us of the searing perception we all have, but perhaps don't use frequently enough. She wants us to be discerning with how we choose to spend our time and whom we choose to love. She wants us to never ever say yes to anything or anyone from a place of fear or obligation. And I think that's the difference. You know, my, my client was saying yes to lots of things because she was so worried about what other people's reactions would be to her if she said no. That's fear, isn't it? That's fear of being rejected. Um, and then she goes on to say, you are a demigoddess. You get to choose the life you want to live. And this happens by being fierce and warrior-like about what you say yes to. Use discernment so that you are only saying yes to what will actually nourish and renew you, inspire or expand you. It is not your business to worry about those you might disappoint. And that is true as well. And the other thing, uh, and I keep mentioning this client, but it's the same for all of us really. 
sometimes we worry about what somebody's going to think and actually they don't think that at all um, and really we're taking away their power by assuming they're going to think a certain way and often they don't but even if they do then it's not our problem is it it's theirs and we've got to remember that you are not made to meet everybody's expectations of you you are made to express the truth of who you are and to use the brief time you have here to live out your potential. Hi Emma. Nothing is obligatory except breathing. <laughs> I like that. I have, I'm going to have to remember that. I'm going to have to say that to my husband when he comes in. I don't have to do anything. I'm only obliged to breathe. <laughs> See what he says. Oh, I might try that on the children as well. In fact, let's all try it today. And your only true obligation is to the voice of your own soul. Freya wants you to realise the gleaming gold that you are. You see, she's got all gold around her. Yeah, Freya wants you to realise the gleaming gold that you are and to act accordingly. She wants you to unapologetically choose the life you actually want to be living right now. She wants you to you to make your yes holy again by only using it when it's when it's the truth okay she's told you and i've told you okay stop um only say yes if it's a holy hell yes <laughs> so the soul voice meditation that goes with this is what does a hell yeah what does a hell yes the holy yes feel like in my body so what does the hell yes the holy yes feel like in my body so you know, if it feels good, if saying yes feels good from your heart, because, you know, again, we should all be leading from our intuition and our heart, um, then fine, go for it. If, you know, if it doesn't feel good, don't. Um, and your intention, say after me, please, I spend my time wisely. I only say yes when it's a holy hell yes. Okay? Repeat. I spend my time wisely. I only say yes when it's a holy hell yes. And remember, your only obligation is to breathe. So, <laughs> I like her. She looks fierce, doesn't she? And she knows exactly what makes her happy. So, you know, if any of you are struggling um, to remember who you are or if you need to reinvent yourself, or if you just need to re-establish your boundaries, if you need some healing, if we need to look at your inner child, if we need to heal ancestral patterns, if we just need to change the way you think about stuff, then you know where I am. I have lots of programs um, and sessions that can help you. So message me, book a call, we can just have a chat. Um, to see if working with me would be a good idea or not. There's an absolutely no obligation to that chat. Um, and that's what I want. I want to help women find a balance and to start to look after themselves and only say yes when it's in true alignment with their soul and with their own happiness. Um, yeah because it's possible it's all possible and going back to my clients they're both now working with me working through their issues lots of inner child work going on actually to deal with what happened to them as children and healing that and then finding a way forward so that they can go forward happily making the choices that they want to make but you know at the same time still looking after people still making sure people are all right but not at their expense and you know what the more you define who you are the more you set your boundaries the more that people realize what you're going to say yes and no to the more they'll respect you and you will attract the right people into your life because if you don't love yourself nobody else is going to love you either not really so i'll leave you with that thought keep breathing and um only say yes it was a holy hell yes lots of love thanks for joining me live and thanks for watching the replay message me if 
you want to have a chat so that we can see if we can work together. Take care. Lots of love. Bye.